Well, good morning. Different look. Let's come before the Lord and pray. This morning, the church remembers, commemorates Felix Bishop, Apostle to the East Angles, and Geoffrey Studdock Kennedy, Woodbine Willie, Priest, Poet, Padre. A man for all angles. Let's come before the Lord and pray. <coughs> o Lord, open our lips, and, and our, our mouth, mouth shall proclaim your, your praise. praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According, according to, to your, your judgment, judgment give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy, to you be praise and glory for ever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, blessed be, be God, God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. That we rejoice in the gift of this new day. So may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 5 Give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my lamentation. Hearken to the voice of my crying my King and my God, for to you I make my prayer. In the morning, Lord, you will hear my voice. Early in the morning, I make my appeal to you. For you are the God who takes no pleasure in wickedness. No evil can dwell in you. The boastful cannot stand in your sight. You hate all those that work wickedness. You destroy those who speak lies. The bloodthirsty and deceitful the Lord will abhor. But as for me, through the greatness of your mercy, I will come to your house. I will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, Lord, into your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me. For there is no truth in their mouths. In their heart is destruction. Their throat is an open sepulchre, and they flatter with their tongue. You Punish them, O Lord. Let them fall through their own devices. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them sing out their joy for ever. You will shelter them so that those who love your name may exult in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous, and with your favour you will defend them as a shield. Psalm 7 O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. Save me from all who pursue me and deliver me. Lest they rend me like a lion and tear me in pieces while there is no one to help me. O Lord my God, if I have done these things, if there is any wickedness in my hands. If I have repaid my friend with evil or plundered my enemy without a cause. Then let my enemy pursue me and overtake me 
and trample my life to the ground and lay my honour in the dust. Rise up, O Lord, in your wrath. Lift yourself up against the fury of my enemies. Awaken, my God, the judgment that you have commanded. Let the assembly of the peoples gather round you. Be seated high above them, O Lord, judge the nations. Give judgment for me according to my righteousness, O Lord, and according to the innocence that is in me. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but establish the righteous, for you test the mind and heart, O righteous God. God is my shield that is over me. He saves the true of heart. God is a righteous judge. He is provoked all day long. If they will not repent, God will wet his sword. He will bend his bow and make it ready. He has prepared the weapons of death. He makes his arrows shafts of fire. Behold those who are in labour with wickedness, who conceive evil and give birth to lies. They dig a pit and make it deep and fall into the hole that they have made for others. Their mischief rebounds on their own head. Their violence falls on their own scalp. I will give thanks to the Lord for his righteousness. I will make music to the name of the Lord Most High. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Jeremiah 11, verses 1 to 17. The words that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Hear the words of this covenant and speak to the people of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. You shall say to them, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Cursed be anyone who does not heed the words of this covenant which I commanded your ancestors when I brought them out of the land of Egypt from the iron smelter, saying, Listen to my voice and do all that I command you. So shall you be my people and I will be your God, that I may, I may perform the oath that I swore to your ancestors, to give them a land flowing with honey and milk as at this day. And I answered, So be it, Lord. And the Lord said to me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. Hear the words of this covenant and do them. For so I solemnly warned your ancestors when I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, warning them persistently, even to this day, saying, Obey my voice. Yet they did not obey or incline their ear, but everyone walked in the stubbornness of an evil will. So I brought upon them all the words of this covenant which I commanded them to do, but they did not. And the Lord said to me, Conspiracy exists among the people of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They have turned back to the iniquities of their ancestors of old who refused to heed my words. They have gone after other gods to serve them. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken the covenant that I made with their ancestors. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Assuredly I am going to bring disaster upon them that they cannot escape. Though they cry out to me, I will not listen to them. Then the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem will go out and cry to the gods to whom they make offerings. For they will never save them in their time of trouble. For your gods have become as many as your towns, O Judah, as many as the streets of Jerusalem, and the altars that shame you, that you have set up, altars to make offerings to Baal. As for you, do not pray to this for this people, or lift up a cry or prayer on their behalf, for I will not listen when they call to me in time of their trouble. What right is my beloved in my house when she's done vile deeds? Can vows and sacrificial flesh avert your doom? 
can you then exalt? The Lord once called you a green olive tree, fair with goodly fruit. But with the roar of a great tempest, he will set fire to it, and its branches will be consumed. The Lord of hosts who planted you has pronounced evil against you because of the evil that the house of Israel and the house of Judah have done provoking me by anger to anger by making offerings to Baal this is the word of the Lord thanks, thanks be, be to, to God. God one second Full of compassion and mercy and love is God the Most High, the Almighty. The Lord Almighty and God of our ancestors, who, you made, who made heaven and earth in all their glory, all things tremble with awe at your presence, for your great and mighty power. Immeasurable and unsearchable is your promised mercy. For you are God Most High. You are full of compassion, long-suffering and very merciful. And you relent at human suffering. O God, according to your greatness and goodness, you have promised forgiveness for repentance to those who have sinned against you. The sins I have committed against you are more in number than the sands of the sea. I am not worthy to look up to the height of heaven because of the multitude of my iniquities. And now I bend the knee of my heart before you, imploring your kindness upon me. I have sinned, O God, I have sinned. I acknowledge my transgressions. Unworthy as I am, you will save me according to your great goodness. For all the host of heaven sings your praise, and your glory is for ever and ever. Glory to the Father, and, and to, to the Son, and, and to, to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is, is now, now, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Full of compassion and mercy and love is, is God, God the Most, most High, the Almighty. The Almighty. John seven thirty seven to fifty two On the last day of the festival, the great day, while Jesus was standing there, he cried out, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me, and let the one who believes in me drink. As the scripture has said, out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now he said this about the Spirit, which believers in him were yet to receive. For as yet there was no Spirit, because Jesus was not yet glorified. When they heard these words, some in the crowd said, This is really the prophet. Others said, This is the Messiah. But some asked, Surely the Messiah does not come from Galilee, does he? Has not the scripture said that the Messiah is tended from is descended from David and comes from De Bethlehem, the village where David lived. So there was a division in the crowd because of him. Some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one laid a hand on him. Then the temple police went back to the chief priests and the Pharisees who asked them, why did you not arrest them? The police answered, Never has anyone spoken like this. Then the Pharisees replied, Surely you have not been deceived too, have you? Has any one of the authorities or of the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, which does not know the law, they are accursed. 
Nicodemus, who had gone to Jesus before and who was one of them, asked, Our Lord does not judge people without first giving them a hearing to find out what they are doing, does it? They replied, Surely you are not also from Galilee, are you? Search, and you will see that no prophet is to rise from Galilee. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, you, O Lord, I I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O O my God, God, in you you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, you, O Lord, Lord, I lift lift up my soul. O God, God, in in you you I I trust. trust. I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, to save from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God showed, swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in all the days of our life. And you, child, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation, by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory Glory to to the the Father, and to the Son, and to the the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the the beginning, beginning, is now, and and shall be forever. forever. Amen. I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Lord, as we begin a new week, we pray for the encounters, the endeavours, the challenges, and give thanks in readiness for the blessings we will give and receive. Lord, the world is, as ever, confused, confounded and divided. But we, your church, like you, Lord, are one. Help us to stand in unity this week with our brothers and sisters near and far. Help us to live, to walk and to be one body, proclaiming the one true God showing his love and bringing justice, mercy and peace to all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our our prayer. Father, as schools return this morning, Mm. We pray for the children, we pray for the teachers, we pray for the other workers in the school system, we pray for parents, we pray for all who are anxious about today, we pray for all who are looking forward to today that their hopes would be realised. Lord, we as care homes also begin to accept visitors again. We pray for those who will be waiting to see loved ones, 
those who have been separated for so long. We pray for families who will inevitably see a change in their loved ones who are resident in the homes as lockdown and isolation have taken their toll on mental health. We pray for the care home workers, Lord, who have battled so hard and so long to keep their residents safe and have lived with the constant threat of COVID as those on the front line, mm. those who have been heavily affected by this virus. And Lord, as we take our first tentative steps towards normality, towards easing restrictions and returning to the life that we once knew, Father, we pray for patience, we pray for understanding that there wouldn't be a rush there would be slow, deliberate steps yes. that allow us all to come back into those freedoms together, mm. safely and with joy. There will be great joy, Lord, when we can meet together again, see loved ones again, do the things that we had once taken for granted. Yes. Lord, we pray once again that we wouldn't lose the lessons that have been learned. We wouldn't lose sight of the things that we now hold so precious and so dear because they were taken from us. That we would make the time. Mm we would make the effort to keep those things in our lives. Yes. We would not become complacent. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, as the Pope prays amid the ruins of churches in northern Iraq, the news is that as the US troops pull out of Afghanistan, the militant Taliban could make rapid gains in that territory, in that nation. Lord, we've shed our blood in Afghan and Iraq in the cause of peace and yet peace is not to be found so we pray for peace in those two places we pray for peace across the whole of the Middle East at this time we pray for peace in Africa it's Latin America and especially Lord we pray for peace in the first world countries where it's not even about territory but foolish rhetoric lies and sad things that could and should never have happened need to be addressed Lord we pray for dialogue we pray for peace we pray for people to come together and to settle their disputes and Father, there's no religion that warrants the loss of life of innocence. There's no religion, none worth having, that warrants murder and oppression. Lord, we pray that those who might do evil in the name of a religion, in the name of dogma, political religious, economic, 
that Lord, they would be called out and that the world would stand against them, naming them for what they are, and restricting and reducing their efficiency, effectiveness and wickedness. Yes, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our wow. prayer. And Lord, again reflecting on the visit of the Pope to northern Iraq, we pray for the church in that country, for the Christians who have stayed faithful to your message despite persecution, for those in other parts of the world who continue to witness to you, to serve you, to worship you, despite the difficulty that brings for them. Lord, we pray for your church in those parts of the world where it is easy to worship you, where we have freedom. Mm. Lord, that we would not be complacent, that we would not take that freedom for granted. But that we would spend our efforts, our energy, our time in worship to you yes. and in witnessing to you through our words and our actions mm. that we would grow deeper in our faith understanding and knowledge deeper in our love for you that it would compel us to spread your message to speak your words to live as you call us to, mm. no matter what others may say, how we may be greeted or treated, how we may be disdained or argued against. Lord, we pray that your church would be a true living embodiment of all that you are. And through us, you will be known. Lord, in your mercy, hear in our prayer. prayer. Father, we pray for the negotiations between the UK and the EU this week. As Lord Frost says that the EU need to show some goodwill, need to overcome their ill feelings towards the UK. Others are saying, well, having unilaterally and arbitrarily just decided we will have six more months of doing things a different way to that which we agreed after the grace period. Father, it seems that everywhere in the news today there are people who are saying, oh, well, this is why this has happened and the other people need to change. And yet, Lord, the reality is actually both sides need to change. Both sides need to dialogue. But to turn around and say, we will do this and you'll have to accept it. And then to say, oh, Europe don't like us. It's folly. It's not politics. It's playground. And Lord, wherever the playground is found, may we stand against it and tell the children to play nicely in the sandpit. Lord, you call for integrity in government, you call for integrity in public and personal life. If you don't want to be in the limelight, then move out of it. If you want to be in the limelight, accept the fact that people will judge and will act for you and against you. Lord, we pray for grown-upness in the world today. Lord, in your mercy. Hear, Hear our, our prayer. prayer. And Lord, we pray for the people, the places, the situations known to us. Mm. We pray for our loved ones, our neighbours, our concerns. Lord, we lift to you the names, the faces, 
of those that we know who are struggling today and need your help. Mm. Father, we bring them to you knowing that you are a good and loving God, able to do immeasurably more than we can hope or imagine. That's why we come to you in faith, in confidence, but in humility, Lord, asking that you would guide our prayers and help us to see where you are at work, mm. the things that you are doing that we might overlook because they're not what we want. Father, we pray for those who are in pain today, in body or mind, those who live with daily physical pain, that today they would have some respite, those who live with mental pain and anguish, confusion, fear, Lord, that today they would have clarity and reassurance. Father, we pray for those who have terminal illnesses, that their reassurance would be in the promise of eternal life, mm. that you would come close and calm their fears. And give them a good end. And for those who watch and wait and pray and grieve, Lord, we pray for your comfort, for your resilience. for the knowledge that you have not abandoned them but that you are with them even through these difficult times yeah. Father we pray for those who are looking for work those who have job interviews those who are in jobs that they really do not get any fulfillment or satisfaction from. Lord, we pray for all who are disillusioned, distressed, dismayed today, that you would lift their chins, that you would lead them into a wide open space show them your mercy and love Lord we ask in Jesus name yes. Lord in your mercy <coughs> hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer. God of peace, who gave such grace to your servant, Edward King, that whomever he met he drew to Christ, fill us, we pray, with tender sympathy and joy for faithfulness, faith, that we also may win others to know the love that passes knowledge through him who is the shepherd and guardian of our souls. Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. Amen. And so together, trusting in the compassion of God as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. 
our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. <coughs> Lead us, Lead us not, not into temptation, but deliver us from, from evil. For the, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Thank you folks for being with us this morning. Sorry it was a little <coughs> bit different, but hopefully you managed to <coughs> follow along. And we'll see you this evening. Have a good day. Stay safe. Bye guys. Bless you all. Bye. Bye.